Hey vloggy vlog, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we are gonna be productive. Um, there are things that I have been needing to do for an embarrassingly long time. And they are tasks that will probably take me about 30 seconds. It's time to do them. It is time to do them, and it is time to get my life back together. All right, first things first. Um, I won a bet with my siblings like over a year ago, and the prize for said bet was a new pair of shoes. So, I need to look for a new pair of shoes. I think I already know which ones I want. They are from Nike. The limit is $100. So, we're just going to we're just going to look and make sure that the ones I want are there and or around $100. All right, so they had the shoes I wanted. <laughs> um, I sent that to my siblings and now they can order them. And they are cheaper than $100, so I'm doing them a favor because it was supposed to be a pair of $100 shoes. And yeah, check. The first thing off my to-do list, off. Should I actually make a to-do list? No, 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 I don't need to do that. But another thing is on my Instagram, I put on my story, um, if anyone had a question for me, they can go ahead and send me one and I will be answering those throughout today's video. Um, and I'll go ahead and answer one of them now. Some of these are very wholesome and sweet questions. Um, and your, the first one is, what is your favorite food cuisine? Um, Japanese food. I could eat it all day, every day. Sushi, pokey. Although is pokey Japanese or would that be considered Hawaiian? Maybe it's like Japanese inspired, I don't know. So, sushi, teriyaki bowls. What else do I eat that's Japanese? I just pretty much only eat sushi and I want it every day of my life. It's sushi, but all I really, I mean Japanese, but all I really eat is sushi. Shrimp tempura, sashimi. Gyoza, agadashi tofu. Hmm. I guess I do eat more than I thought. But those all sound delicious and now I really want Japanese food. So maybe I'll get Japanese food this weekend because that sounds delicious. <laughs> Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see here I should celebrate, think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better So I made a new rule for myself that I will not buy any more hangers, but I have two items that need to be hung up, so what I do is, 
is I find two pieces that are currently hung up in my closet that I don't wear anymore or don't want or I just they don't fit me or whatever it is and they go into the giveaway pile so now I need to find two pieces so I can hang these back up Freddie did you say hi to the vlog did you say hello good girl you say hello thank you you're a sweet angel. You're rock in a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young once. Yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. Believe it or not, I have killed a plant. But fortunately for me, I have this little guy that has outgrown its pot and is going to replace the one I killed in this one. So that's heavy. So let's repot it. The next thing on my list is this giant pile of clothes. I have had this pile of giveaway clothes there for about three months, maybe. And it's just been sitting there. I was thinking, you know what, Megan, maybe you should try and sell it. But the probability of that actually happen, what? The probability of that actually happening is slim to none. So I think I should just get rid of it because I'm never gonna sell it. I know there's some like decently priced items in here but we'll let someone else take care of that and then the next round I'll learn but I need to get the stuff out of here but unfortunately we only have one garbage bag so I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all of it but if I can clean up the pile somehow that would be great All right, it's not completely gone, but a significant improvement. I just need to go to the store and get some more trash bags. get ready um, and then you go have lunch in like Santana Row and then walk around with a coffee mm -hmm. um, and then you come home you've had a crock pot for a while all day oh I was gonna say go get shabu <laughs> for dinner um, since I don't cook chili 
-hmm. Or a nice bowl of soup or Toscana soup. Mm -hmm. Freddie off. And then you make me a cup of tea and then I watch a movie in bed. Excuse what me. the deal? Off. Off. The next question is what is your favorite time of year? You can answer it. Just, just My favorite time of year is Thanksgiving through Christmas. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? My favorite time of year is the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas for many reasons. One, food, <laughs> two, family, three, Christmas decorations, and love. <laughs> Name it. thinking, Megan, why are you going through all of your boxes? And I will gladly answer that for you. Um, I'm moving. I will be moving in almost exactly three months and I was just trying to see what I had so I can slowly start buying everything I need. Um, for those of you who have been with my channel for a little while, I am moving back, ooh, on the way. I'm moving back into my house and yeah, that's that. I'll be moving in mid-January and with the holidays and everything else coming up, I want to slowly start buying everything I need so it's not all happening at one time. Because Christmas is expansive as it is. But yeah, I'm very excited. My mom and I have a home goods Target and Lowe's date on Friday. So hopefully we get some good stuff. But yeah, I'm moving in three months. I will no longer be living with my mother. And I'll be living on my own again, which I'm very excited for and ready for and need. And don't know how to be alone anymore. Oh, Freddy, you ready to live on our own? You ready to leave Puddin's house? No, but yeah. We'll see how it goes and the way I prep myself beforehand. Another question that I got asked today was what is my favorite serum? So I figured I would show you that but also just my evening skincare routine in general um, but yes it is currently 7 47 and i am ready for bed i have been productive enough today first things first wash your hands My first cleanse, I'm going to be using this hydrating cleansing oil with green tea. I would tell you the brand name, but I have no idea how to pronounce it or how to get this to focus. There we go. So this is my first oil cleanser. Now some of you may be asking, why do we double cleanse? And let me give you the answer. The purpose for the double cleanse is to, one, the first cleanse will break down the oil and dirt and makeup and sunscreen that you may have on during the day. And then the second cleanse will actually be cleansing your skin and not removing all of that product. And from your face. So, first cleanse. Then now we just want to wet our hands and emulsify the oil. And 
For a second cleanser, I'm going in with the same brand, and this is their Dewy Glow Jam Cleanser, Jeju Cherry Blossom. That was quite the mouthful. So this will be my second cleanser. Okay, after cleanse is when we tone, and I'm going in with the Jam Collins Hydromucine. This one for sure is not going to focus. There we go. Hydromucine Hydrating Mist. 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 And why do you use toner? You use toner because when you are cleansing your skin, you're kind of changing the pH of your skin. So what the toner is going to do is reset it and bring it back to its natural balance, which should be at around a 5.5 on the pH scale, if you didn't know. Now to answer the question, what is my favorite serum? Right now my favorite serum is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. This is their vitamin C serum with niacinamide. I use this in my morning routine. And then for evening, I'm going in with the PCA Skin Acne Gel Advanced Treatment. And it has 2% salicylic acid. Um, so for any of those of you acne prone folks, if I can get a focus. For anyone struggling with acne, try and find... Um, a step in your skincare routine to incorporate salicylic acid. And now for moisturizer, I'm going in with the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This has been one of my go-tos for as long as it's been out, pretty much. All right, and the last step in my skincare routine is um, a facial oil. This is the Summer Fridays Heavenly 16, I believe it's called. Heavenly 16 all-in-one facial oil. Um, and I only use facial oils during the colder seasons just to add some extra hydration back into my skin. is my evening skincare routine right now. Um, I know if you are one of my esthetician friends, you might be asking, well, why aren't you using, you know, professional grade product? And my reasoning for that is right now, I'm in the in-between phase of utilizing my license and not. And while I figure out what I'm gonna do with it, I don't wanna be using professional grade product that I don't have easy access to or easy access for people that I'm working on to buy. So I want to find products that are more accessible that you could order online at Sephora or Ulta. And I am trying out this Korean skincare and so far I have been loving it so don't come for me. Okay. I'm doing my best. But yeah, time to go change into pajamas and read. Alrighty guys, it is time for my wind down evening routine, which means I read and put on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and go to bed. But I feel like we were very productive today. We got some things off of my to-do list that have been on there for months even though it took me like three minutes to do each one. But yes, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!